Oh man, so I was hoping that this wasn't true. I was hoping that it wasn't true, but footage has came out showing what led to an altercation between Chris Brown and his crew jumping on Usher. So check out this little clip right here. So yeah, man, that came courtesy of TMZ. And in this photo, you can see Chris Brown with some aggression and Usher right there like, you know, what's up with you, buddy? So the story is broke by Hollywood Unlocked. Now Usher threw Chris Brown a birthday party. And I'ma play y'all footage of the birthday party in the background. So this reads, while the birthday bag started out pretty smooth, a close source shared that it all went downhill a few hours later. It was said that Chris Brown reportedly got disrespectful with singer and actress Tiana Teller for an unknown reason. The source explained that Chris Brown was notably intoxicated when he initially approached her. A few guests and even Usher tried to intervene and calm everyone down. However, at some point during all, all the commotion, Chris Brown allegedly called Usher a coward and let the venue. The drama spilled over outside and onto Chris Brown's bus as Usher followed behind to talk to Chris Brown. Shockingly, that's when things went completely left, with Chris Brown and his crew allegedly jumping the legendary R&B singer. The insider went on to say that the alleged beatdown was so bold that it left Usher with a bloody nose. Now, neither of the guys nor Taylor have spoken out to deny or clarify this report. Chris Brown appeared to be in good spirits earlier that day and seemed ready to turn up as he shared a post that read, I better get single to foot tonight. On top of that this is usher's son's instagram account he's saying don't message me about it and he also shares this image right here saying looking at it. now if y'all don't know if y'all don't know this is from naruto the guy right here that's pervy sage that's jiraiya and this is the six paths of pain pervy sage was one of the legendary great signing i mean he was a real nigga a legendary real nigga but it's just for these six niggas who the legendary real nigga gave the game and taught to jump him to kill him by the way these six dudes actually controlled by one dude but yeah the dude in the gray here taught the other ones and then they had to jump him to go ahead and you know kill him so with that being said with chris brown i'm pretty sure coming in the tracks of usher and doing that to him is kind of fucked up it ain't kind of it is it is fucked up okay so on top of that whack 100 spoke on the situation he gonna run into the wrong squad it's gonna be about 10 niggas dead on the spot Damn, Chris Brown. That nigga, then he took off on my boy in London, drunk and high. Now he took off on Usher, and Usher was hosting his birthday party. Because he went off on Tiana Taylor and called, called her a bunch of butch bitches. Usher tried to talk to her, and they took off on him. All right, so that's that. Now, my personal opinion about the situation is Chris Brown, you a fucked up nigga. If someone threw you a birthday party, but you don't have to wear it the discretion to say, let me not express my frustration onto this guy and understand this person just trying to calm me down because he has my best interests at heart. But how you don't understand how to figure this situation out, bro? You too doped up. You too coked up. You on too much shit, bro. And people have given Chris Brown chance after chance after chance in this game. And he continues to fumble. This shows you right there. Talent. If you talented as hell, if you got generational talent, bro, you will get as many chances as possible. And I'm pretty sure months down the line, people are going to excuse this behavior once again. And Chris Brown is going to continue to be able to eat. He a foul nigga for that, man. Chris Brown is a foul nigga. Nigga throw you a birthday party. Sing happy birthday to you, my dude. And that's how things turn out. Crazy as hell. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. How I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. It's your boy, Stacy. Yo.